Hey everybody, it's Professor Broman, and I am here to teach you all about a very, very quick way to level your character if you are doing a new game to Ultimate Vault Hunter speedrun. Now, this speedrun is, 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 is a fantastic way to kill 12 hours of your time if you don't really have anything else to do and uh, just really love Borderlands. So, the uh, new game in True Vault Hunter mode, they're pretty easy to get through because, you know, you get yourself your sexy evil smasher over here, and you just evil smash the garbage out of your weapons, which has already been done, for obvious reasons, because that can take a long time, so we have ourselves a, a decent high fire rate weapon. Any high fire rate weapon is going to do. Uh, if you smash it enough, everything's just going to obliterate whatever you run into. So, after you finish your True Vault Hunter mode speedrun, you're going to have to get some experience. And there's all sorts of different ways. Uh, people have talked about it's 1.1, why don't you do Flesh Stick, or all this other stuff. But the bottom line is, the method I'm about to show you is flat out the fastest way to get experience that you can get in between those two sections of the game, hands down. So... What you want to do is, when you start True Vault Hunter mode, make sure you do not pick up the Rock Paper Genocide quest. You won't need to anyway. You won't even think to do it. Because you'll be having too much fun with the Evil Smasher glitch. Which, if you don't know how to do, is going to be in the corner of the video. Literally the whole time, so that you know what's going on. Along with the patching video, will be on the other side. So that way, you can patch and be able to do this. Thankfully, we have a sniper rifle, right? So, we can just kind of go in here. We got Marcus. We have picked up our Rock Paper Genocide quest for fire weapons. You can do it with the fire weapon section of this, or you can do it with the slag weapon section of this. I like to do it with fire, so in case you screw up and use a fire weapon, which you don't want to do, because it'll complete the quest, and you don't want to complete the quest, you have another chance. So, we got this guy here. He's Vandal. He's really easy to kill for us, since we have the Evil Smasher. So, what you're going to do, is you're going to aim at his head, no, kill him, no. then you're just going to hold down the trigger and keep shooting, and find the sweet spot where he spawns in. And, as you can tell, after you found that sweet spot, he is literally dying about as fast as he can. You sit here, in between the new game and Ultimate Vault Hunter speedrun, and get yourself to level 50, which takes about 15 to 20 minutes, but, there's no other way to get experience this quick, in between the two playthroughs, at least that we have discovered so far. Something might be discovered later, and it'll work out just fine. A couple notes on this. This is easy to do from here if you have sniper rifle. There we go. There's the sweet spot. You see that? Just hemorrhaging experience. We found the sweet spot. Earlier we didn't have it. This is the sweet spot. You can just watch your experience bar go up. So, as you can tell, after a while, the game starts to hate you. You start to drop down to, uh, zero frames per second. <laughs> because you have, most likely, as I do right now, you have Goron, which means you're having so many parts rendered in that the game can't handle it. It's like, what are you doing to me? Why are you doing this? You're such an ass. And you're like, I'm sorry, game, I'm sorry. So, the best thing to do is come over here, uh, turn off all the texture stuff that you can, go to gameplay, find yourself sensor gore, and turn it on. After you've turned on sensor gore, the game's not going to lag, because you're not going to be producing a thousand dead bodies for a second. There we go. We'll hang out here for a second just to show you that we, we've gotten it. Right, we've gotten it. Now, there is another method to this uh, that involves going out of bounds that you'll probably want to use. Oh no, we're slowing down again. That's right. That I just remembered in a very unprofessional way. Sometimes in order to censor gore, you got to make sure you get out of the game and go back in, but we're not going to do that. So before you start playing, make sure you turn off gore. As I'm going to be doing a new game to Ultimate Vault Hunter speedrun tomorrow, which I will be starting at about 9.30, 30 minutes after I push this video, if you want to come join us. 
Make sure you have that turned off before you attempt to farm like this. So, the out of bounds method involves going over here, and remember, Sanctuary has to be flying to do this, otherwise there is an invisible wall. Make sure we have grenades. Super professional, totally planned out. 100% got it. Again, since we're being super professional, make sure you click on the uh, super sexy corner link for both the patcher and the Evil Smasher glitch so you know not only how to do the glitch, but why the fuck I can still do it. Because, as we all know, I'm cheating. Not really. We're just on the 1.1 patch, which is the patch you should be on. So, you notice that, uh, oh hey, look at all that. That's, uh, that's actually not there. There's no ceiling in this little corner. I just chuck a grenade, jump up here. Oh, I messed it up. Chuck a grenade, jump up here. Boom, you're out of bounds. Alright, we're gonna go from here to here. And it's going to be a pretty time. Whee! All right, hug the wall here. Okay. Ooh, look at the look at the hidden gun shop. Ooh, spooky! Hug the wall. Literally the entire time, as I always tend to fall off. And when we get to the end of this wall, there's a little bit of space you can squeak by without. If you mess it up, you're going to just fall forever and just die. All right, boom! We are out of bounds. Once you get out of bounds and into Marcus's shop, you can hop right up on top of here. We'll crouch hop, boop, aim down, and just pull the trigger. Now, this works better with weapons like SMGs, obviously, that have like lower accuracy. Or something that might have degrading accuracy over time. But standing right here and doing this is uh, also optimal. You will not always have a sniper rifle to do this with, so why not have both examples in the video. If you get a sniper rifle, a nice flat-off sniper rifle, it's great. You can do this from very, very far away, and it doesn't matter. And you don't have to do the out-of-bounds, but being able to do the out-of-bounds allows you to use any weapon you might come a hold of, including the weapon you'll most likely be using, which is a uh, Hyperion shotgun. So anyway, guys, with the frame chugs aside, this was an example of how to power level yourself between new game, true, true Vault Hunter mode, and Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, or a new game. You could do this as well, however, the experience yield would drop off dramatically. It would be very sad. I just love doing this. I, I, I literally cannot stop myself, but I'm going to have to. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope this helps you understand a little bit about what's happening in the new game to Ultimate Vault Hunter speedrun why exactly we farm for this experience, and why am I falling forever? I somehow managed to miss the death wall. Look at this beautiful scenery. Look at this. Pandora. Beautiful Pandora. Oh. Well, I guess we're going to take a quick visit to the spawn box. <laughs> this is great. All sorts of unplanned things. You, you start making a video at 5 in the morning because it, it pops into your head, and then all sorts of wondrous things happen. Magic. Just magic. If we can get to the spawn box, I don't think we're going to be able to get to it. We're, it's going to fall right past us. Oh my god, why? <gasps> Notice me, Box Senpai! Notice me! Damn it. Well, at least we got the moon base still. Resequel! Uh, we're just going to keep falling until we die. Man, this is a lot longer fall than, you know... A lot of the other falls in the game. I feel like I should have hit a death wall. Oh, there it is. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really, I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. Thank you for all of the, the subs. Lately, got a, over forty thousand right now, which is or forty four thousand. I have a little problem with numbers, everyone, and it's it really means the world to me. I'm I'm happy you guys are enjoying the content and the videos. Um, the content is your videos. I know. I'm just gushing, and it's late. I'm sorry, but I really do appreciate everyone watching it. It means a lot. It's nice to know that I don't just have to be on Twitch. I can be on here too, and folks will still be interested. It's great. So anyway, I'm going to shut up and stop gushing and just say I love you guys. Thank you. If you enjoyed this or found this informative, please l -l rate. L -l rate. I don't even know my mouth, man. Right now it's a mess. Rate, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and you all have a fantastic day.